Good morning, everyone. On-site and online, we are so privileged to have people inside the church right now, and we're getting more many, mas dumadami in Tagalog, more many. And we are thankful that we have registration every time we uh, get to, together in our church building. We would like to ask you to register. And some of you are uh, walking in, of course, still in capacity with our uh, restriction protocols. We are thankful that we are here. You can see everyone smile, but if you can uh, see across, di kayo makakita online. But no. uh, sad that you're, <laughs> there's only your family you will be sitting across you. So if you can just wave at the people uh, beside you, left, right, behind you, in front of you. Let's look at each other. And say hi. There you go. And one of these days, we are going to pan our cameras, uh, going uh, ways to our audience or congregation watching us today. So some of us here, one and a half years before they went back. And some of us here are, uh, you know, you greeted the happy Easter and you are, um, you are, going to greet them Merry Christmas and Easter <laughs> that's, the, that's the next, tw- next de- uh, moment or season that you will see them but because of our situation in our pandemic one and a half years wow okay? just imagine only the three of us here <laughs> Pastor Vic, Pastor Val and me down to uh, sometimes two Nag- mention ba tayo ng two? Nag- message tayo ng two di ba? dalawa lang and we are thankful that you are here with us today. So I am so uh, grateful to have you. So I can see your face somehow. Your face mask uh, are covering your smiles and your eyes can smile as well. So uh, all the best for looking at your eyes smiling. And on you on uh, online world po natin, uh, wherever you are in the world, we can say that uh, officially because we have some... Um, uh, viewers or attenders of our worship, uh, online worship services around the world. Hello, world. Good morning. Again, uh, August 8. Oh, August 8. August 1. <laughs> the 8th <eight> month. <laughs> That's uh, the 8th month of the year, and it is day 1. Amen, Puba. Can we give a clap offering to our God for extending. <clears throat> Our lives. I was, uh, I was so fascinated with this uh, app in in um, in the Google. <laughs> so Google po anapin yung calculator of you know, the day that the, the day that you were born and how many days na ngayon. Okay, so I have mine here. I'm gonna share it to you because I want to celebrate this <clears throat> day as my 15th. 1,911 days. Wow. Diba? Thank you, Lord. And to calculate the minutes of my life since I was born is 22,911,840 minutes. Think about that for a moment. I used to say, let that sink in. Okay, lahat po tayo, we need to celebrate life. And of course, uh, this is the eighth month of, of the year. 2021, we seem to uh, skip 2020. <laughs> so forget about 2020. We learned a lot though. At uh, nagpapasalamat tayo for today. We are going to uh, share again uh, a symbol that we are going to <clears throat> introduce every time. Every year po, nagkakaroon po tayo ng baptism. So I'll be uh, turning on my, my controls here. The, the thing that you see in front of me, this table is also a symbol. Okay, we are going to uh, share together the bread and uh, the, the wine. Um, this is a symbol in remembrance of the death of Jesus Christ and his burial and resurrection. Another symbol that we are going to talk about today is something that recently happened like a week ago. Or, yeah, a week ago. I nagkaroon po tayo ng water baptism and seven people were so excited and we're happy to come out of that water. 
Um, first time in the history po siguro, I'd like to think in my history of serving here as your pastor, ay nakita ko lahat ng buong mundo na nakatingin sa amin. <laughs> like Birds Hill Park, hello, on a Saturday. And then, wala na pong mask doon. Hindi na wala pong mask because it's public place. And once you go to a washroom, dun, that's where you wear your mask in close proximity to other people. What I'm trying to say is that we, all the world is watching us. And what's going on there is something significant. And some of our people here right now will be recognized receiving their certificate of baptism after our worship service. At nagpapasalamat po ako dahil uh, every year we do this and we are going to do this twice this year. So let me just uh, invite you to, to listen to this message and uh, somehow encourage your heart to follow through what you have started with your relationship with Jesus Christ. I'll be explaining a lot of things, very practical, straightforward, and I'm going to uh, uh, share to you the, me the message about baptism. So let us pray first. Bow your heads and uh, close your eyes. Let us pray together. Dear God, Heavenly Father, we thank you for you are the God who um, sits on the throne. You are sovereign. You are the King of kings, the Lord of lords. We as your children must follow you, imitate you, love you, and um, wait on you. Salamat Panginoon for this moment that we can share the word. We are going to read a lot of verses from your um, word today. Uh, help us and give us uh, the principles that we need to understand the lesson on baptism. We thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, there are many changes. But before I say that, this is my um, title. Okay, straight out of water. That's our message today. Sermon about baptism. There are many changes that happen in our lives when we come to know Jesus as our Savior and Lord. Many of those changes take place on the inside, our hearts. But the Bible shows us one step of obedience that all true believers of Christ are expected to take, and that is water baptism. As we see, water baptism is an outward symbol of those inward changes. Again, it's an outward symbol of those inward changes from within. Today, we will be looking at what the Bible teaches about taking one step of obedience to Jesus Christ. Our human authorities are not, are not perfect. Yet, when we look back at the most of what we wanted, they wanted us to do when we were children, they were after for our own good. Right? When we realize, oh, kaya pala. Kaya pala ganito, bawal noo, nung uh, bawal pa pala mag-girlfriend. No, Ako'y high school, bawal mag-boyfriend. Because it's for our own good. You need to have a career fair first. Finish your, your school, right? We are Filipinos like that. And I think that is a good principle to be adopted by, by, by the world. You need to be established first. Things like, wag kang, wag kang uh, magpapagabi. Things like that. For our own good, for our safety. That's what I'm trying to say here. God is our perfect heavenly Father, and when we can, and when and we can trust Him for whatever He commands us to do for our ultimate good. Okay, wala pong um, wala pong mission ng ating panginoon na sa langit. Our Father doesn't have anything that would uh, that He He plans to to destroy us. It's all for our own good. Mahal niya tayo kung tayo po with with perfect uh, with with that personal relationship to our God and Father, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, we're all good. We're covered. No? It's all good, ultimate good, para ho sa ating kabutihan. We also need to understand that delayed obedience is actually disobedience. Manana habit. Okay, all the dads or parents, I should say in general, if your kids would say, mamayana, <laughs> There goes the kurot. Okay? The kurot and then twist. <laughs> the twist. Okay? So we're Filipinos like that. Yung mamayana po, mamaya. later, do it later, I'll do it later. Okay? Uh, in our hearts as parents, eh, yung pagsabi ng later, it's kind of same 
same economy with the word. I don't want to do it. Okay? So let us understand that delayed obedience is actually disobedience. And what I'm saying here is that there is a step that we need to do as believers. Some of you have gone to that step, and we are proud to say that most uh, of, of, Christian, of the Christians, ay alam po ang water of baptism, and they have done it once, done it once in their lives. Okay? I'll mention the word once. Dahil meron po tayong um, uh, sistema, uh, some of our members didn't understand what baptism was, and then they just did baptism with their friends. Nagtaasan ng kamay. Gusto ko rin yan. Gusto ko rin maligo. Outing na rin at the same time. No, di niya naintindihan. That they didn't understand the, uh, the, the things about baptism. And now, soon after 10 years, let's say 10 years, Nagkaroon tayo ng lesson sa ating Bible study about baptism. If you can remember, if you are part of a Bible, studies, a Bible study group, which I am encouraging to be part of, because you're missing a lot if you're not. Okay, let me say that. Attend ho kayo. In your proximity, in your, in your uh, family, meron kayong pwedeng puestuhan as Bible study. We have this uh, material we are using that... Um, um, Godly disciplines, if I'm not mistaken. Okay? Godly disciplines. Part of it is baptism. Worship, baptism, prayer, give, offering, uh, coming to church. Those are the spiritual disciplines. At nadaanan ito ng ating mga kapatid sa Panginoon. One day, we, ha- we are reviewing this part of, the, of uh, the study, and they realize something. Oh, Pastor, I've done baptism before. I didn't understand it. It was like this beautiful... I want to do it again. That's why I say once, because you can do it twice. Okay? You can do it the second time. Now you understand. Okay? I'll be giving you some uh, a ma- major fact that, that would make you realize that uh, this is something that you can do. Kahit anong edad ngayon, anong antas. But last year, we planned for baptism. There are only two people who went through the waters of baptism dahil kailangan nilang umalis. At talagang sobrang lamig no. It was September 6, if I would, I'm not mistaken. Lumabog kami sa, dun sa bird seal na, who nag-freeze po yung aking fats. Sobrang lamig. But anyway, we've done it. Okay? I, I'm going to post uh, something here as an invitation to all of you. This, this August, we're, we're op- opening the second batch of our baptism candidates. We're going to do it online, of course, and then I want you to sign up, okay? I would like to say, uh, encourage our Bible study leaders, if there are people in your Bible study uh, group who wants to, to learn and discuss about water baptism that we are talking about here, I mag sign up sila and tell Pastor Vic, pa- me, Pastor Val, uh, to, to accommodate you in our three-session class, at least two, but three session class for the practical tips before we go and be finally out straight out of water in our water baptism. Okay, things to understand about baptism. Are you ready? If you're taking notes, um, this is for you. Okay, ako po ay three point, three point shooter, but three point preacher. So I'd like to use alliterations for this. And if you're taking notes, you can. Write down. And also, if uh, hindi lahat ng verses ko copy nyo, but yung passages, so you can check it in your own time. Okay, things to understand about baptism. First of all, it is a symbolic copy. Symbolic copy. In Romans chapter 6, verse 3 and 4, it says here, Or do you not know uh, that as many of us were as were baptized in Christ Jesus, were baptized into his death. Therefore, we were buried with him through baptism into death, that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. This set of verses tells us something. We are being like doing a copy of what Jesus experienced. He died, he was buried, and he was raised. We celebrate resurrection like every year. Okay? In fact, uh, uh, the backbone or the thing that pushes the, the great wind, the power that pushes every 
a powerful message is the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And the symbol of baptism is found in this set of verses, Romans chapter 6, verse 3 and 4. Okay, let us uh, see. If you picture baptism, you see water, right? Kaya nga water baptism eh. Diba? Imagine that water as grave. Grave. Libingan. Okay? And only a few minutes in that water, makikita mo yung tinatawag na transformation of power na may experience natin. Through the example of Jesus Christ. I just want to picture out uh, a symbol here of Christ's death. That watery, um, watery grave. You are there. You imagine yourself and you focus on your sins that it will be gone. You will be dead to yourself because you want a new life. You want to surrender your life to Jesus Christ as a new creature. On that watery grave, I die with Christ. When we die to self and we announce in a personal manner there between the offici uh, uh, officiating minister and you being baptized, our obedience to Jesus Christ. Next thing is burial. Paglibing. We are buried with Him in baptism. Because baptism, I would like to explain later sa part ng what is real baptism, what baptism really means. And also resurrection. This is the great power in, in this symbol. You're going, uh, you're going out of the water. Like that. Okay, so it's a, first of all, symbolic copy of what Jesus experienced on the cross and the grave and the third day, which is Sunday, where they didn't see a dead body, he was raised from the dead. Amen? We are serving a living Jesus Christ. Amen po ba, mga kapatid? Amen. The second thing here, it's not only a symbolic copy, but it is a straight command. Or what should I say? Straightforward command. It is commanded in the Bible. Let us look, look to uh, what following or copying Christ in His obedience here. We must look at what it really means to follow Christ. What does obedience look like according to the Bible? What does it mean to really follow Jesus Christ? Uh, John chapter 14, verse 15 says there, can we read it all together? It's just a short verse. On three. One, two, three. Can we read that louder with conviction? Ready, go. If you love me, keep my commands. Who said that? Jesus. Obedience is a clear sign that a person really loves Jesus. We sing about it. Obedience is... The very best way to show that you believe, right? Doing exactly as the Lord commands. Doing it happily. I love that song. Obedience is the very best way to show that you love God, you love Jesus Christ, and you follow His commands. Why is it a, a, a sign of being a real follower of Jesus Christ? We will look at some verses in Luke chapter 14, 26, 28, and uh, jump to verse 33. And sabi po dito, if anyone comes to me and does not hate, uh, does not hate father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, napakano naman instruction into, Lord, is this you? <laughs> well, that's him. Sabi niya, if anyone comes to me, Jesus Christ said, and does not hate father and mother, his wife and children, brothers and sisters. Yes, even their own life, such a person cannot be my disciple. And whoever does not carry their cross and follow me cannot be my disciple. What it takes to be a disciple is written here. 28, suppose one of you wants to build a tower won't you first sit down and estimate the cost, meaning you plan, you really let all the stuff meditated on, learn. That's why we have baptism class, right? 
to see if you have enough money to complete it. And verse 33, it says there, in the same way, those of you who do not give up everything you have cannot be my disciple. Oh my! Ang hirap pala maging tagasunod ni Kristo. What it takes to be a disciple is a willing heart to sacrifice. Question, do you have that heart? In verse 26 and 33, what we are, what are some of the things, I should say, we must count as less important than following Christ. We say relationships, even self, everything in verse 33. Not everyone that follows Christ literally gives up family, relationships, and possessions. But Jesus' point is, listen to this, that we must be willing to give up everything to truly be Christ's followers. We must be willing to obey everything that He commands us to do. Hold that thought because He commanded us to baptize and to be baptized. No argument about that. So if we love Jesus Christ, we need to follow his footsteps. Jesus himself was baptized. Although Jesus was the Son of God, he submitted himself to the Father by being baptized by John, his second cousin, I think. Tama ba? Cousin kasi ni Elizabeth si Mary, and then pareho silang pinanganak. So, Jesus did not need to be baptized to take his sins away because he, he was sinless when he, he lived here on earth. He was baptized as an act of obedience to the Father's will. The Father expressed his pleasure by declaring that Jesus was his beloved Son. It was only after Jesus publicly submitted to the will of the Father by being baptized that he finally began his public ministry. He was 30 years old that time. So three years of ministry started when he was baptized by John. So Luke chapter 3, verses 21 to 22, when you look at it in your Bible, when all the people were being baptized, Jesus was baptized too, also. And so he was praying. As, as he was praying, heaven was opened, and the Holy Spirit descended on him in bodily form like a dove, that's why the symbol of the Holy Spirit is like a dove. And a voice came from heaven. This is my son, whom I love. In you I am well pleased. God the Father said that bold announcement to all the people around being baptized there, witnessing the baptism of Jesus, that he, that Jesus was the son of God. And let us look at not only the example of Jesus Christ, but the example of all the believers who follow Jesus Christ as disciples and followers. Okay, the following passages describe people responding to the gospel in the early days of Christianity. Let's look up each passage. Uh, all of them are, are um, in the book of Acts. So Acts 2.41 muna. Those who accepted his message were baptized. And about 3,000 were added to their number that day. Imagine uh, baptizing uh, 3,000. Peter was preaching and 3,000 believed in Jesus Christ and they were baptized at the same day. Wow. All day, eh, marami naman kasama si Peter, no? and all the, the disciples were there, they were baptizing. You know what? You don't need to be a pastor to baptize anyway. You know that? Because you are, you are just declaring, I baptize you in the name of the, not your power, not your being a pastor, not being your, an elder or a deacon or whatsoever. Tayo na lang nagmagawa ng rule na ganyan. Okay? We can baptize if you are a mature Christian and you have an, uh, a growing Christian with you. You can actually baptize your own kid, your own friend. Can I baptize myself? Uh, usapan natin yan. Ano tawag dyan, taking a bath? <laughs> okay? In principle, it, it is to be in the name of the Father, Son, of the Holy Spirit. Right? So, when Peter preached, they believed, 
that day, the same day they were baptized. Acts chapter 8, verse 12. <clears throat> Sorry. But when they believed Philip, as he proclaimed the good news of the kingdom of God and the name of Jesus Christ, they were baptized, both men and women. Yes! Puro lang pala, akala nila, puro men lang, ano na, and women, and kids, who really understood the meaning of being baptized. Right? Acts chapter 8, verse 35, very common po ito, isang magandang uh, teleportation uh, story. Philip was gone, like, poof. And he was uh, transported, teleported to another place. Yes, it's in, in the Bible. Check it out. And sabi dito, when Philip, then Philip opened his mouth, he was riding on a chariot with, with the Ethiopian eunuch here. And beginning at the scripture, beginning at the scripture, preached Jesus to him. Verse 36. Now as they went down the road, they came to some water. Okay? And the eunuch said, see, here is water. What hinders me from being baptized? And then the following verse says, What hinders me from being baptized? Philip said, If you believe in, with all your heart, you may. And he answered and said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, and the rest is history. Then after that, Philip was gone. <laughs> like nawala. The Spirit of God delivered him to some other place to continue ministry. Wow. Kung ikaw yung baptized. Parang, ah, oh, that was magic. Hindi magic. Reality po yun. Miracle. So it happened. Notice the sequence of those stories there. The sequence is like this. First, they believed. Then, after believing, they were baptized. Baptism, take note of this, is not the way people become saved. It is an actual, uh, outward expression of faith they have in Christ. In our class, in our communicant class or your baptism class, we always mention this. Baptism is not a requirement to be saved. Remember the criminal on the cross? Was he baptized? But he was promised eternity with Christ. Again, Baptism is not a requirement to be saved. It's more of an act to prove that you want to be serious with Jesus Christ. So what's wrong with that? A step to follow Jesus Christ. We always teach this uh, little formula here. We have faith in Jesus Christ as our Savior and Lord. Plus, nothing includes good works, religion, even baptism. Equals salvation. That equals to change life. Good works, including obeying and being baptized. Is that good? Amen? Faith in Christ is all you need. You are saved right then and there. That start of a relationship will always make you follow what Jesus commands, and that is to be baptized. And because I love Him, I want to do it. I want to do it not secretly. I want to do it publicly. Why should we be baptized? That's the question. Because first, it is a part of obedience to Christ as His disciples. Matthew 28, 18 to 20, the Great Commission. We have this. We follow this. We have that uh, board, there, board there at the foyer that says, uh, following the Great Commission. Okay? Loving our neighbors. Ito po yung sinasabi dyan. Can we read it all together since this is one of our favorite verses in Phil UCC ready on 3, 1, 2, 3. And Jesus came and spoke to them saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Amen. Amen. All authority given to Christ, given din sa atin through the Holy Spirit, and we can make disciples. By the way, if you can see the, the set of verses here, what is the main verb? Okay, those of you who are scholars in the, in the lexicon or Greek thingy there. Okay? The main word there is make disciples. By what? By going, by baptizing, and by teaching. That's how we make disciples. 
Okay, another day, another day, we're going to dissect this uh, Great Commission verse. So because it is part of our obedience to Christ as His disciples. Second thing there is because it is a picture of what happened to us when we were, but when we were saved. Okay, set of verses again. The first set of verses that we have read uh, at the start of this message. Romans chapter 6, verse 3 and 4. Do you not know that many of us were baptized into Christ, were baptized into his death? Therefore, we are buried with him through baptism into death. And that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life, resurrection power life. So what happened when we were spiritually baptized in Christ? Here's the difference. Meron spiritual baptism, meron physical baptism. Spiritual baptism, let me say, is when you started a relationship with Christ, you are brought into the family of Jesus Christ with all the believers spiritually. We are baptized with the Holy Spirit as our seal to be brothers and sisters. That's the spiritual side of spiritual baptism. Now, the physical baptism is, again, a symbol, copy of our public declaration of obedience. What is, Pastor, anong, ano bang baptism? Let me say this. Okay? It came from the Greek word, baptizo. Alam nito ng mga nag-review. Okay? Baptizo. Meaning to say, according to the Thayer, Thayer Smith Greek lexicon, it means, to dip repeatedly. That's why I say once, you can also do it twice. Okay, if you understood the baptism now. To immerse, to submerge of vessels sunk. Not just, you know, hindi lang part, hindi lang ulo, hindi lang, hindi lang, ba? I remember one time, I, I, I was able to baptize a young, uh, y no, no, not so young person, but he was so, you know, funny, light, light uh, kind of character, interesting character. Then, when I baptized, he was so tall, so I cannot dip him into our baptistry. <laughs> really good, like, mapatatabunan. Sabi niya ba sa akin, Pastor, Pastor! <laughs> Hindi po na basa yung buhok ko. <laughs> Isa pa! <laughs> so, it was so, so, so personal, intimate, and somewhat funny that I needed to dip him the second time. <laughs> second time, medyo, ginawa ko, ginanong ko yung tubig sa ulo niya. He was immersed in water. He was so tall. Our baptism is just a waist high. In my case, it's a chest high. Sa kanya, waist. So, nahirapan ako. <laughs> so, immerse, submerge, to cleanse by dipping or submerging, to wash, to make clean with water, to wash, to wash oneself. Okay? Uh, this is a picture of what? Here. Can you see this picture? Can you recognize it? Okay. One of the earliest uses of the word baptizo is described in the process of making pickles. Who likes pickles here? Sino nagtatanggal niyan sa burger? So, ano ko tinatanggal niyan? I eat it. I like it. Diba? Pure pickles. Ay, masarap kaya ang pickle. In the 2nd century BC, they, they make this process of making pickles. First, a cucumber, cucumber, cucumber was washed from another Greek word, bapto. Wa wash is bapto. Baptizo is to immerse. Okay? Then, it was immersed in vinegar or brine. Brine, baptizo, until it had absorbed the flavor of the vinegar and spice and became a pickle. Okay? Look at this. Ano kaya magplay to? Yeah. To make a basic pickle, you start with the freshest cucumbers you can get. The fresher the better, that's going to keep them crisp. We start off by making our brine, which is sugar, salt, vinegar, and water. Cook that with some garlic. Then we pack our jars with uh, pickling spice, mostly coriander and mustard, some fresh dill. Pack the cucumbers into those jars, pour the brine over it, and we vacuum seal them for shelf stable, but at home, all you have to do is put them in the refrigerator. Wait a week and you've got a pickle. Week. Simple lang, di ba? 
Yun ang pickles. Kinamit. A cucumber became completely identified with a new aroma and flavor of what it was immersed to. The word baptizo means significant truth here. Okay? That is what happens to us when we are baptized into Christ. We became completely identified with Him. Then we place our faith, when we place our faith in Christ, we are spiritually baptized, immersed in and united with Him as His child in His death, burial, and resurrection. When we obey Him by being baptized physically, we declare publicly what happened to us when we believed in Christ for salvation. Sounds good? Amen. The third and last thing I want to share to you. It's not only a symbol, a, a symbolic copy. It's not a straight command. But last, of course, not the least, it's a significant celebration. Do you love celebration? Filipinos are known to be celebrating a lot of saris. Okay? My month sari, my week sari, my day sari, my half a day sari. I was a high school before when I had my first girlfriend. And gusto ko mansari na mansari. Ayun na lang. I became broke. I gives talaga every every month. And there are, there are people who also celebrate week sari. <laughs> they celebrate, diba? Celebrate good times. Come on, diba? We also celebrate birthdays, anniversaries, and all the things. Oh, if you're a husband, you forgot your anniversary. Paala na kasi buhay niyo. Mrs. Paalala niyo sa kanila. We are known to celebrate. Okay, I want to share this. Something good has to be celebrated with. Okay? Our new life in Christ. It says in Matthew chapter 5 verse 14 to 16, very familiar verse in the Bible, "You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid." Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick. Dapat makita. We celebrate the new life, that spark that Jesus has brought us um, sa buhay natin. And it, uh, it, and it giveth light into all that are in the house. 16. Let your light so shine before men with celebration. Diba? That they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Who gets the glory when you are baptized anyway? Who gets the glory? Feel you see, see. No. God, the Father. My Son did it. You are His children. Why not do it too? Now we celebrate it. Baptism is the most significant right a, person's, a person can have in this lifetime. It's better than, it's, 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 sabi nga nila, it's more important than marriage. Baptism. Because you, it says there, I'm given into the eternal family of Christ, which is more important than being married. Okay? Once your soul is secure, that's the most important thing you have this lifetime. That's why I make it really personal when I baptize. I'm not in a sort of, uh, for example, my son, I w I've got the privilege of baptizing CJ years ago. And last week was Caleb. I'm so happy about it. It is more than personal to me. I baptize you, Caleb, in the name. I was like this. I hope he remembers Caleb, it is an honor for me to baptize you as my son, whom, <laughs> in my mind, I'm almost pleased. <laughs> Every time, I mean, they've got their own issues, but I am pleased to have that moment to share with my son and finally baptize him. That three-second symbolic act in water was a great privilege for me to baptize my own son. It was personal. We make it personal. Pastor Vic makes it personal. We don't announce it loud to the crowd. It's a personal thing because that's between him or her and his or her God. 
He's declaring it. We don't care what the people will say. It's good that they see that, oh, this is a spiritual thing happening here. I like to see that. I want to ask them. I'm a, I want to ask that little boy there what's happening here. And the little boy is oh, just taking a bath maybe. Or I want to savor the moment to make it really significant and personal. I want the person to feel loved. If it's allowed to hug them that time. I only hug my son because we are in the same household. We, 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 uh, Pastor Val will also do this. Pastor Val, get ready. I will let you baptize uh, 50 people <laughs> after this message. I mean, there's always first for Pastor Val. First uh, dedication na rin siya. We're growing up some uh, good pastors here, you know. So, make it personal, significant, and really momentous event for everyone. We're not talking loud to the crowd, just straight up personal to the uh, person. I want you to look at this video. This is uh, Victory Church. So ito po yung uh, kanilang event. As soon as Jesus was baptized, he went up out of the water. And at that moment, the heaven was open. And he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and lighting on him. And if we know history correctly, Jesus was prepared for the plow. Never look back. The scripture tells us Jesus came preaching. And Jesus came teaching. And Jesus came healing. And his fame spread all across the Decapolis and cities as far as men could count. And he rearranged the whole world with his teaching. Gave women worth and value. Looked people in the eyes who felt like they was worth nothing and said, neither do I condemn you. He was the friend of sinners and the enemy of the religious. He came to set captives free. That water outside that pool, when you go out there, you're going to see that pool with the water glistening in the sunshine. And when you see that pool, listen to me. That pool is a grave. A watery grave. And you're going to step down into that broad watery grave and you're going to sit down. And when you sit down, you're going to stare at that crystal clear water. And in that moment, I want you to get on your mind everything you've done from your past. Every mistake, every sin, everything that has been bothering you up until this very moment. Every lie the devil has told you in your ear, every insecurity, every worry, every fear, every anxiety, every sickness, every disease. You get everything on your mind that has been plaguing your life right up to this moment. And men and women of God who've been praying all week, we're going to put you down in that watery grave. And when we submerge you, you will symbolically leave in that watery grave everything you have carried from your past. You leave it in those waters.
celebrating that significant event in our lives. That's why I invite you, my friends, <laughs> I invite you to list, to sign up. If this is a year for you to be baptized and follow Christ in the waters of baptism, we've got bodies of water around the city. We're going to Bird Seal again this, this August. Sign up. Tell your Bible study leaders. Tell Pastor Vic, me, and Pastor Val. Sign up for our baptism class. We want to make this really big. As we gather there, we should have flaglets or flag that says, Feel you, CC is following Jesus Christ. And we want to declare it as a church, right? We celebrate life in this kind of picture. Celebrate life given to us fresh by Jesus Christ. Therefore, my friends, as I end this message, baptism is an identity. It is our identity. We copy, we paste it to ourselves, and we become followers of Jesus Christ. Well, because we are saved. We hear him say, get baptized. It's not a requirement. You are already saved. But declare it. Declare it to the world. It is an outward declaration of an inward change. Some of you may think, I, I'll get baptized because I want God to be nearer to me. No, that's a wrong thinking. Baptism is not for God to be nearer to you, but you be nearer to God. Imagine the words of Jesus Christ ringing in your head once you are out of water, saying to you, you are my daughter, you are my son. I am happy, well pleased with you. Amen po ba mga kapatid? Let's get out straight out of water. Father, these are your words. Marami pa po kaming kailangan pag-usapan sa topic po na ito. We'd like to open this opportunity for the church to engage themselves to knowing not only for those who got baptized before and once they understood this really good, they can do it again if they want to. We open this opportunity for all of us here to, to declare our love for you and want to obey you publicly with intention, with seriousness. And Father, we thank you for, for it's not just a symbolic uh, um, a symbolic copy or a straight uh, command. And right now, a significant celebration but it is an obedience and identity to follow you all the days of our lives. Bless these truths in our hearts, Father, and bless those who are willing to be baptized in the waters of baptism. May, they, may we know them and we will make this really personal with them. And for those who have been baptized last week, Lord, help us to recognize and give their certificates right now with pride. At nawa Panginoon, maging encouragement ng buhay nila para sa bawat isa. Salamat po. In Jesus' name, we all pray. On three with a loud amen. One, two, three. Amen and amen. God bless you.